Cheryl Curb Nemoy was born in Charleston, South Carolina, but grew up in Los Angeles with her older brother, Mike Curb. Her father was an attorney for an oil company, and her mother was a devoted stay-at-home mom. It was in that early environment that Carol learned the principles of strong family values and leadership. Carol was an excellent student who won a scholarship to attend UCLA. From there, she graduated Phi Beta Kappa Summa Cum Laude after spending her junior year in Bordeaux, France, where she absorbed a new cultural understanding of her life's purpose. While she was a senior in college, Carol started working with her brother Mike Curb at the company that would later become Curb Records. They worked around the clock in a suite of offices on the Sunset Strip, releasing soundtracks to motion pictures and constructing the careers of artists such as David Allen and the Arrows and the Stone Ponies featuring Linda Ronstadt. In 1970, Mike asked Carol to attend a meeting with him at MGM Records, where he was appointed president of the label. Almost immediately, Carol began working as his executive assistant to help run the company. She was in charge of the international division of the label and every year would attend the Meetum Conference in Cannes, France, the most prestigious international record festival in the world. Part of her job duties was to accompany esteemed entertainers like Sammy Davis Jr. when his hit tune Candyman was in major rotation in places like London, England, where she oversaw meetings between international distributors and him, as she did for other artists as well. Carol and her brother Mike often entertained the international affiliates of MGM Records. They also attended many Billboard International meetings in often exotic locations like Majorca, Spain. Carol has accepted awards in her career on behalf of MGM Records, including accepting an award for the Osmond Brothers, with whom her brother Mike had numerous hits. Carol also worked directly with Steve Lawrence, who recorded for MGM with his wife Edie Gourmet, especially when they appeared at Caesars Palace in Las Vegas with the Mike Curb Congregation. Los Angeles Mayor Sam Yorty was another of Carol and Mike Curb's close friends. Carol was also very close with the late Karen Carpenter. Carol was also a bridesmaid in Karen Carpenter's wedding, along with Olivia Newton-John and her sister-in-law, Linda Curb. After Karen Carpenter passed away, Carol was interviewed by the BBC, where she shared her memories of Karen with them. Some of her early credits included working with the Mike Curb Congregation during their years on the Glen Campbell Show. Carol helped her brother's band explode onto the music scene after their successful soundtrack hit from the motion picture Kelly's Heroes propelled the band into the national spotlight. When MGM Records was sold, the Curb Warner label was formed by her brother and proceeded to have five hits the first year. Oh, What a Night by the Four Seasons, Let Your Love Flow by the Bellamy Brothers, Da Do Ron Run by Sean Cassidy, Exiles Kiss You All Over, and Debbie Boone's You Light Up My Life. This established the Curb Records brand that we all know today. In 1978, Carol Curb worked tirelessly to help her brother become the elected lieutenant governor of the state of California, promoting huge fundraising events and even doing commercials in Spanish to win support in the Latino community. Carol worked with the Commission of the Californias, which deals with California's relationship with its closest neighbor to the south, Baja, California. In 1979, then-Governor Mike Curb sent her to represent the state of California to a meeting in San Felipe, Baja. The Los Angeles newspaper Herald Examiner told the world that she received a standing ovation after delivering a 10-minute substantive address in fluent Spanish. Carol was put in charge of a special group called Celebrities to Elect Ronald Reagan President and helped raise the $100 million it took to get him elected in 1980. After her achievement with President Reagan, she was appointed to the board of the USO during his tenure in the White House. In 1982, Carol moved to Paris to manage the Curb Records International Company where she negotiated distribution deals territory by territory. The label had a big hit internationally with Real Life's Send Me an Angel, which later also became a hit in the U.S. Carol was also instrumental in signing the judge to the label when Curb Records segued into the country music market. She also was instrumental in breaking the Bellamy's internationally with their song Let Your Love Flow. Later, she returned to Los Angeles when her brother asked her to be president of his new film company, Curb Entertainment International. This is the company that has been her pride and joy to help build. The hit motion picture Sex, Lies, and Videotape was the first film to come out of this original company. As of today, she has personally produced and executive produced 13 major films, including 21 with Pat Kenzit, Oxygen with Adrian Brody, and Kill Me Later with Selma Blair. She has personally built Curb Entertainment into one of the most respected independent film distribution companies in the movie industry, and has acquired over 100 films to sell to her buyers abroad. She attends five international markets every year, including the Cannes Film Festival, the American Film Market, the Berlin Film Festival, MIPCOM, and MIP TV. Some of the more recent films she has acquired are The Neighbor, starring Matthew Modine, and Heavy Petting, starring Malin Ackerman, All Roads Lead Home with Peter Coyote, Greetings from the Shore, starring Paul Sorvino and Kim Shaw, and Love Hurts with Richard E. Grant and Carrie Ann Moss. Carol is a distinguished member of the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences. She's on the board of the Blue Ribbon, which raises money for the Music Center. She serves on the board of the Junior Achievement of Southern California and helps secure funding from her brother for the Mike Curb Finance Park Learning Center. 
She is on the board of the Regency Club from its inception and secured the original chef to come over from France and oversee the food for this prestigious club. She also belongs to the Bel Air Bay Club, is a member of the Daughters of the American Revolution and Women in Film. She was president of the Parents Club at Claremont McKenna College and served on the board from 2006 to 2007. In that capacity, she asked her brother Mike to endow Claremont McKenna with the Professorship of Business and Law through the Curb Family Foundation. She also serves on the board of the Mike Curb College of Art, Media, and Communication at Cal State Northridge. Carol is married to Dr. Norman J. Nimoy, who is a respected surgeon at Cedar sinai Carol has one daughter, Caroline, who recently graduated from Claremont McKenna College with a degree in mathematics and is working full-time in New York. Besides being president of the film company Curb Entertainment, Carol serves as the president of Curb Records International, which helps oversee the careers of artists such as Leanne Rice, Tim McGraw, Winona Judd, Rodney Atkins, Hank Williams Jr., Joe De Messina, Steve Hall, and Casey Battaglia, and their newly signed band, Just Ginger. The company is distributed by Warner Brothers Records, with Carol overseeing both the international and many of the domestic day-to-day -day operations. Remember that Mike Kerb is the founder and chairman of this company, and Carol gives him full credit as being her mentor during this wonderful journey that started when she came aboard as a college senior. The journey continues and may never stop. Just like 